What do we got? Got a couple of guitars for you. DC Comics, John Bolin, Batman, and Joker guitars set. Oh, wow. This one's even more impressive. Joker. I didn't know the Joker played guitar. <laughs> cool. John Bolin, I mean, he basically became the guy, if you wanted a badass custom guitar, that you went to. And this guy's got a really interesting story. He went down and apprenticed to, I believe it was Gibson or one of them, and decided that that's what he wanted to do with his life. And he started making custom-made acoustics for his friends and friends of friends. And then you know, one day, he ended up making one for some folk singer. And then Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top is what really, really put him on the map. And then I think he made him for just about everybody that wanted a really high-end custom guitar. Right. When it comes to making custom guitars, Bolin is the guy you go to. And everybody from Joe Perry to Steve Miller have had this guy make them for him. So if this is legit, we're not looking at your average guitar here. Batman and Joker, I didn't know that he made them, though. The cool thing about the Joker is it also has this little chip in it. And if you push this button when it's all hooked up to an amplifier, you push that and the Joker laughs. And it's like, ha, 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 ha. Really cool. That is cool. Yeah, that's unique. Yeah, ever since the success of the Star Wars and how much money they made from licensing stuff, every movie they could license out stuff did. And with the Batman stuff, it, you know, there was no exception there. I just didn't know that they would be rolling guitars. Kind of unique, right? Yeah. So what are you looking to get for them? I want to get 15000 for them. OK, for the pair? For the pair. OK. This is a little out of my realm, I got to tell you, man. We're talking about really high-end guitars in a really niche market, and it just it would make me a little more comfortable if I called a buddy of mine to come down and take a look at them. Understood. All right, why don't you hang out, and I'll be back in a little bit. Sounds good. When he called for an expert, I thought it was great, because I think that these guitars speak for themselves. I know I have all my paperwork done, and the guitars are solid. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Jesse? I got a... Um, I had two guitars, uh, John Bolin, Batman, and Joker. I don't, uh, I don't really know much about them. You think you can come down and take a look at them? Well, if, if, if they're legit, they're probably anywhere from for the pair, 7,500 to 8,500. But um, you know, I can't make it down there. But I, I got, a, I got somebody that can come down there. I'll, I'll send him down here, with you guys' way. Right on, man. I appreciate it. Cool, man. No problem, dude. I'll talk to you soon. All right, Jesse sent me John Bolin. Oh, wow. John Bolin, OK. Um, the John Bolin? I am. <laughs> wow. Looks like a couple of my guitars here. <laughs> That's a, what a treat. Well, I guess you'd be the guy to talk to about these then, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. I made these 26 years ago. Wow. My name is John Bolin, and I'm the owner of Bolin Guitars, and I'm a guitar maker known as a luthier. My buddy Jesse knew I was in town, gave me a call, and he said, hey, you won't believe this. They've got a pair of your Batman and Joker at a pawn shop. You got to go down and see them. They are absolutely beautiful. My lord. Pretty much looks to me like they're unplayed. So how'd this all come about? Well, it started with the Batman. This was to celebrate the Batman movie. And um, we did the prototype. And at that point, we make a lot of guitars for ZZ Top. And the word got out to Billy that we were doing this. And he was like, oh, I have got the perfect design for the Joker. So Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top designed this? He did. That's awesome, man. I brought an amp out. I'm kind of curious to hear the Joker laugh. <laughs> it's a seven second loop, so you. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, you're the guy to ask are they legit? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think my fingernail marks are on there somewhere. <laughs> OK. I really appreciate you coming down. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Corey. So you wanted 15000 Bad news is I can't have uh, John Bowling give me the price of the guitars, because he built them, and I'm sure to him they're priceless. OK. So I, uh, I did talk to my buddy on the phone. And he told me that they'd probably retail for about 7,500 for the pair. You know, we're, we're so far off. I mean, you want 15,000. I mean, I'll, 
I'll go 7,500 for him. I, I know a Batman sold for 7,500 by itself once. I definitely would not sell him for $7,500. Yeah, and, and that's going to be the most I can pay. Um, but I really appreciate it, man. It was fun. Yeah, Thank it you. was. Thanks so much. Um, if you hurry up, you might be able to catch him and get him to sign him <laughs> for you out there if you want. Thank you. Take care. There's no way I can take 7,500. I've seen one alone sell for 7,500. We're going to hop in the Batmobile and head out of here.